Everyone, what's going on? Chris or C4 here. Today we're gonna be looking at the battle medic. It's another quick start guide. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible this time. I know the other ones haven't really been that quick, but the battle medic is one of those classes that I feel like it needs to be a must and competitive. And let's get into why and what he brings to the table with this quick guide. Okay guys, so let's start off with the Battle Medic's main weapon. It's called the Lobber. If you left click, it'll actually do uh, exploding grenade on impact, and when you right click, it'll do a bouncing grenade like Junkrat. His secondary weapon is the Firefly. Shoots four shots, and it reloads after, I believe, four shots. It's pretty alright. It's a good thing to use. His Q ability is kind of like the Titan Bubble, except it's uh, more in the air. Like, literally, wherever you put it, it'll be on there. And it heals everyone inside, and it actually repels enemies back. So E is going to be your support drone, and that's going to actually heal people, and you have two of these at the same time. You can actually just throw them out, and it'll give your friendly shield while it heals them, and that's actually a super cool thing. The next thing is going to be the hover pack, which will actually has two ways to activate it. You can hit shift, and it'll activate it. Hit shift again to unactivate it, or deactivate it, or you can press space, and every time you press space, it'll go up. If you're holding shift and press space, it'll actually make it so you fly up into the air. The last thing is his passive ability, which he actually regenerates health whenever he doesn't take damage for a short amount of time. That is super awesome and super useful for keeping him alive. Okay guys, so since he's the battle medic, he's literally the medic of the game, how you get heals. The main thing I recommend is playing in the back lines and doing what I'm doing right now and literally just using a right click to throw throw your lobbing grenades into the enemy's like trajectory into their field in order to stop them from moving in because they actually do a crazy amount of damage now another thing that I recommend doing with him is playing the objective a lot and I know I say this a lot pretty much in every video but he's an amazing guy at playing the objective his most efficient game what I'd say is probably overcharge what you're saying right now and what that and the reason because um, with his shield when he gets it he can actually put the shield on the on the battery and just cap it without uh, much danger of being killed now with that being said though uh, enemies can still go inside even though it tries to repel them they still can go inside and try to kill you however in there your left click is going to be very dangerous because you can just throw it right at them and it'll do lots of damage towards them so with that being said uh, is actual weapon primary does a ton of damage left click if you actually get a hit on them I believe does like uh, somewhere around uh, 60 or 100 ish yeah I know there's a huge difference I believe there's like a damage drop off depending on how far you go but it does a lot of damage and can actually uh, two or three shot uh, assassins it's pretty cool depending on how low they are so of course since he is the healer um, his main job is to heal people now when uh, your friendlies actually go lower on health their health will appear in yellow um, and you can actually see there's little like triangle things on their on their nameplate for one you can just press E and it'll, you'll send a drone right over to them so because of his left shift hover he can actually get away pretty well and use that as a maneuvering ability whenever he has things like assassins or anything on him or to try to get closer to his teammates to get that heal on or to just run the objective straight over to the flat to the point so guys um in terms of battle medic i definitely do recommend you have at least one more than one in my opinion is just a little bit uh just kind of overkill and not that great in my opinion because uh you're kind of losing out on valuable dps that you can be using um so overall just have one battle medic and just kind of play play with your battle medic guys if you have a battle medic on your team try to play with them Try to stay around them, especially if you need healing. You know, run in to the enemy team. Go back when you need healing. Go run to them. Don't make them run towards you because it'll make your job. At, you're make, you're, it'll make their job and their life a whole lot easier. And it'll keep you alive a lot longer. So, guys, when countering a battle medic, what are the recommended classes? Honestly, I'd say the enforcer is one of the recommended classes because he can melt them with his left shift as well. Um, I don't recommend doing the assassin however you can do it if you're a decent enough assassin because they can get that getting close and run away however the battle medic can run away as well and use lob grenades against them battle medic versus battle medic not too much to say there just whoever has a better shot will do will pretty much be the better one um, so other than that there's not really too many people to counter him Wraith is pretty good because he can use his machine pistol 
um, and you can use your, um, you know, other than your machine pistol, you can also go ahead and right click them to lunge at them and do some pretty good damage. So do I recommend playing Battle Medic all the time? Kind of, yeah, because I mean, if you have a Battle Medic and they don't, then you guys are in a huge advantage of winning the actual, the actual match there because of the fact that the Battle Medic is such a good class. Uh, he can hold off the objective, he can make people not want to get on it with his left click or his right click, depending on the game mode and depending on if they're in there, uh, in which direction they're in there, as well as he can heal your team, like, just getting healed when there's no health packs available, when the enemy team can't get healed, that is absolutely amazing, so definitely recommend playing him, remember, I recommend only having one, if you already see someone else going battle medic, choose your next favorite class. Uh, out of anything else though, I do recommend uh, having at least one. He is a must pick if you want to play this game seriously, if you want to play it competitively. I recommend having at least one battle medic on any team. Other than that guys, it's going to be it for the quick guide. Uh, I try to make this as quick as possible. If you do have any other questions or anything, leave them down in the comments below. If you did like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. It really helps me out a lot. And if you guys are new, subscribe. Uh, there might not be more guides. I'm only going to do guides really for the people that I feel are definitely worth it and you should be playing. But other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next guide or video. Uh, see you guys.